Hello again, Izzy from Digital Goja Showrooms. And today we're going to take a look at the new Altura Photo Professional Swab Cleaning Kit for Sensors for APS cameras. If this video helps you out, remember to hit us up with a like button underneath. And as always, subscribe to our channel for future tutorials, sessions such as this, and to share with your friends. And don't forget, when in Miami, visit Digital Goja Showrooms. Now, this is their newest design. These are dry swabs and they're made to be used in conjunction with their Artura Photo all natural sensor cleaning fluid. So, these are all hermetically sealed in here. And again, they are for APS-C camera sensors, which is 23 millimeters by 15.60. So it's a 16 millimeter size. That's the one that you need. These guys are made of ultra soft microfiber. It's lint free. And of course, it's going to absorb the oil and condensation. It's going to make sure that all the particles disappear. And of course, they're one time use only. So when you open these guys up, that's why they come individually sealed. You're going to only use this once. So now I'm going to show you how to clean a sensor. All right, here I have a very popular Nikon D3200. Again, the way to clean this is going to be very similar on most Nikons, but it's going to differ from manufacturer to manufacturer. And remember, this is going to work with all your crop sensor Nikons, like the D3200, the D3000, the 5500 series, even the new D500. And then, of course, in Canon, T3s, all the Rebels, T6s, T6Is, 60Ds, 70Ds, 7D Mark IIs, 80Ds. Remember, as long as you have an APS-C size sensor, this is going to work perfectly for it, even for the mirrorless, like the Sony A6300 and A6000. Now, first thing we need to do is, on this camera, we need to go into the menu. All right, so I'm going to access my menu. I'm going to go to lock the mirror up for cleaning. That's the one that's going to give me the capability of accessing the sensor. So I'm going to hit OK. Hit OK to start, and then click the shutter. Remove the lens. And notice that this guy is open so that I can access the sensor there in the back, which is pretty filthy. Again, you want to make sure that there are no dust particles in here. So you want to use a hurricane blower. And notice how I'm holding the camera at an angle. So any dust particles that are in there are going to fall out. All right, so once we do that, we now immediately open up one of the sealed Altura Photo APS-C sensor swabs, pull this guy out, and then we're going to spray it with the Altura Photo Spray. This is the sensor cleaning spray that comes in the kit. It's also available to purchase separately, and all you need is one spray. You don't need to douse this tremendously, so like that, that's it. So now, hold the camera straight across, like so one swipe. Now you go ahead and use another swab. This one is completely dry because you don't want to reuse these guys. That way you don't run the risk of getting more dirt onto your sensor. And again, in the same direction, just swipe it across. That gets any excess moisture that might be on the sensor off there. Immediately put your lens back on. And again, what you want to really do is take a shot of, of a white surface completely out of focus and compare that to a previous shot that you might have had that showed dust particles. That way you guarantee that you got rid of all the excess dust particles on your sensor. So again, you need to clean your sensor. Go ahead and pick up the Altura Photo Professional APS-C DSLR sensor cleaning swabs. This will make your life a lot simpler than having to sit and trying to fix all this in Photoshop. Plus, again, anything that stays on your sensor for a long period of time eventually fuses on and becomes a bigger problem. So keep it clean, and that way you can do some beautiful, happy imaging. Happy shooting!